Um, you know, I think when I hear that, the thing for me that, that goes through my mind is the amount of work that we put in, um, some of the sacrifices that guys on this team have made. I think that's the big thing is just to, to finish it off right because of that. Um, you know, we've been very successful up to this point, but it would just be a bad thing to, um, you know, not go out on the right foot. And, uh, you know, it's a part of your legacy the way you finish, so we want to finish strong. What has it been like the past couple of weeks since the regular season ended for you? Are you figuring out how to cherish kind of every opportunity out here with your teammates? Yeah, uh, you know, it's been funny. Uh, I was traveling a little bit last week, so that was different. But just from the time the kind of the regular season ended up until this point, everything's been winding down, uh, you know, school-wise and everything else too. So it's been very reflective. Uh, I've been able to spend a lot of time with people I care about, which is cool. Um, you know, just really thought about how much I've enjoyed it around here and everything else, but also keeping in mind that um, we got a, a super big head uh, game ahead, so um, you can't let all the the stuff in the past and you know, kind of being reflective get in the way of that we got to go out here. Uh, same intensity we always do and uh, put the best product on the field that we can. What's your thoughts on the matchup like this with really two big names when it comes to football? Yeah, that was uh, the one thing that I was really excited about was uh, obviously um, Fiesta Bowl is a great bowl. Uh, you know, it's going to be in a fun city, but just kind of the brands going at it. It's going to be a big game with I know there's going to be a lot of hype around it. Um, both teams are going to travel extremely well, so we're going to have fun with that. And, um, you know, just everything that's on the line. You got a great matchup against another really good team. Notre Dame ever try to recruit you? Uh, a little bit. When one of the, the things about bowl practice is young players get more reps. I mean, so as you're on your way out, you know, who's somebody or a couple of names that you think will step in? Not necessarily for you, but will use this time well and has used this time well and step in next year. Um, Dante Booker, obviously, is the guy that's behind me, but, um, you know, he's been having really good practices. He's just been playing lights out. Uh, and they joked that when I was gone that he stole my spot because he was playing so well in practice, which, uh, you know, you really do get excited about because of the amount of work that he puts in. Another guy that uh, has been taking great advantage of these reps is Jerome Baker in our room. Um, you know, he's always working hard, but uh, he's a guy that can definitely benefit from a time like this, and we expect him to step up because he's going to play a bigger role. And then you see it across, um, you know, kind of across the board with the young D linemen. Those guys are all grinding. Um, you know, we're going to need them to step up, especially some of them who played a little bit this year are going to need to step up in this game. And then I'm on the offensive side of the ball, the guys that we see down on the scout team, uh, two young tight ends we have. They've been really progressing throughout this season, and they're taking these reps seriously. So um, you should, you know, look for those guys, too, to, to be doing something next year. To this point, what have you seen on film from Notre Dame's offense? Um, you know, their offense is really good. They have a really good offensive line. Uh, they're a machine and they've got some great athletes up front, um, guys that'll be able to push you around if you let them to. Um, their offense isn't super complicated, but they do what they do really well. So that's where teams have trouble stopping them. Um, you know, they've got those guys at running back who, you know, I think a couple of them played receiver, so they're really athletic guys. And then they've got a couple of guys at receiver too and a quarterback that makes the whole thing go. So they're solid across the board. What's motivating? Um, you know, chance to finish the right way. Um, playing in a big bowl game is obviously motivation. And then just playing for one another and kind of just doing the right thing for each other because we all know how much work we've put into it. A lot of you guys were up for some individual awards and kind of all got shut out, yourself included. Mm -hmm. is, is that anything you guys are paying attention to? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit. Um, if you feel like you, you're deserving of winning it, then it's kind of personal feeling. But at the same time, um, we understand how deserving each of the other guys were. And, uh, how many great players there were this year. Um, the great thing about all of that is, is now it's over, and uh, we get to definitely focus on what we're doing in here to make sure that we're prepared for this game. Going back to your lot experience for a second, though, to be able to go out west and take your dad with you, mm -hmm. what was that like for you? Uh, that was really special. You know, me and my dad are extremely close, and so just to have that time uh, between the two of us to kind of hang out and have that experience was awesome. Uh, west Coast was sunny and bright and amazing, and uh, I met some great people out there, and uh, I hope to be out there you know, at some point, whether it's playing out there or just, you know, out there hanging out one day, I uh, hope to be back. It's been sunny and bright here, too, lately. Yeah, that's, uh, what, that's what it looks like. Has it sunk in yet that you've got one last game in the scarlet and gray? A little bit. Um, you know, the closer and closer it gets, the more and more it kind of hits you. Um, you know, that's the funny thing, though, is they said 
that was going to be the fastest four years of your life. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then it really was. So I'm just kind of hoping uh, it doesn't keep going faster from here. You know, kind of get to enjoy my time. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big one for a lot of guys. Obviously, their last one, and we want to do it the right way.